Hey guys, welcome to Pikmin 3. I've never played any of the Pikmin games, but my kids love it. So they said I should play for the channel. So that's what we're gonna do. I don't really know what to expect, but this is apparently a really chill platform puzzle solving strategy based game. And it seems charming. So I'm gonna give it a shot. Uh, yeah, story. Just me. So here we go. Creating. Let's just do normal for now. Creating a new Galactic save file. Oh, 20 Galactic XX. Date 2000 the far reaches of space oh, lies read. a planet on the brink of ruin. The planet's name? Kopai. Kopai. Due to a booming population, booming appetites, and the basic lack of planning, Kopai's inhabitants have all but exhausted their food supply. Their only hope is to find another planet with edible matter. Mm. Accordingly, they send unmanned scout vessels called sparrows out sparrows. into space. To their dismay, the search is proving fruitless. That's unfortunate. Just as they're about to give up, the final vessel reports back with news of a miraculous discovery. Oh! They what mobilized they find? to investigate the planet, which they named PNF-404. All right. Kopai's last hope rests on three intrepid explorers. There's our heroes. <laughs> At last, the explorers' 279,000 light year voyage nears That's a long way. But as they initiate the landing sequence, something goes uh -oh. horribly wrong. We exploded! Well, that was a cool intro. All right, exploration day one. 8.44 in the AM, Charlie's crash site. Oh. Oh. What happened? What are you? Where am I? The last thing I remember was, oh, of course, this must be PNF 404. Sorry, sorry. Charlie to ship. Charlie to ship. Do you copy? This is your captain. I repeat, do you copy? Hello? Anyone? There's no response. Where's my ship? My crew! Hmm. Captain Charlie. Oh, he looks so determined. I managed to escape unscathed. But what about the rest of my crew? They could be anywhere on PNF 404. I've got to find Alf and Brittany. I only hope they survived. Oh, he's so brooding. Okay, we move with the direction pad. That probably could have figured that out. <laughs> if you get stuck in story mode, press this, yeah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. We know how to play video games. We'll figure it out. Okay, hints, basic information, blah, 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 how to play the game, don't care. If you get stuck in story mode, blah, yeah, okay, close. Jeez. Oh, he's fast. What are you? Uh, no. huh? What in the? <laughs> These are interesting little leaf-headed creatures. Are those the Pikmin? Uh, 
Oh, there's more of them. They're everywhere. So strange. Wait, this planet's mushroom something. I wasn't paying attention. None of my buttons do anything. I'm just running around. Whoa! There's a whole pile of them. I seem to have wandered into a strange neighborhood. Oh. Why are they coming closer? My whistle will scare them off. Stay back! I'm surrounded! Oh. Maybe I should throw them. Oh, I can aim. I can't let it in like this. Get away from me! Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. What are they doing with the mushrooms? They don't appear hostile. So let me get this straight. I can round up these creatures by pointing at them and pressing B and throw them with A. This is a silly tutorial, but it's charming. Press B to blow the whistle and call the Pikmin over. Hold B longer to increase the whistle's range. Okay. Aim with the L joystick. And throw with A. Got it. Maybe these fellas can be of some use. Well, let's bust up all these mushrooms. All right. All right, cool. Right, that's how it's done. Going to town on those mushrooms. All right, so they just hang out until I tell them what to do. Interesting. <laughs> They're adorable. I should look around for my crew. Yeah, well, here, you guys come down here. Join the party. Pressing the. Uh, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, that locks on. Okay. We're oh. busting those mushrooms. Ah. Okay, so L locks on to the nearest whatever. All right, let's go, little dudes. You're my buddies now. These guys sure are dedicated. Well, yeah. Oh, what are you? What are those? They look dangerous. All right, little guys, you handle it. Wow, that's bright. The light is chasing away the enemies. Well, there you go. Oh, you won't get away from me. Well, what are you? <laughs> oh, then my little dudes just bail? Exploration day one, 8.46 a.m. Alf's crash site. Of course he lands in a puddle. Uh. <laughs> okay. There he is. It's a miracle! I'm alive! And somehow unharmed! There's Alf! <laughs> Just as the SS Drake was about to land, 
We lost control and had to make an emergency escape. During the chaos, I was separated from my other two team members, as well as the ship itself. As the ship's engineer, it's up to me, Alf, to find both the SS Drake and my crew members. Yeah, it's all up to you, Alf. Quit playing in the swimming pool. Figure out what's what. Oh, he found a, a red Pikmin and scared him. What was that? Well, let's go find out. There he is. It appears that the specimen I just spotted has company. And what's that stuck in the branch? I have no idea. Is there anything I can do? I bet we whistle. Is that red thing a fruit? Oh. Wait, lock on? Yeah. Lock onto the fruit. Oh, with R. And throw the pick. We did it! Oh, why was it pulsating? Oh god! I was hoping that it was fruit, but it doesn't appear to be edible at all. Yeah, I wouldn't eat that. Nevertheless, the red fellows seem quite pleased now that it's free. Oh, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be looking for the those two missing. Looking around. Face forward with the ZL. And look around with the R. R won't work if you're... Okay, we're not holding it sideways. It doesn't matter. Oh, okay, so I can do that. Oh, so that's how I control my camera. Okay. But I can not move when I do it. What's that pile of rubble? I don't know. Let's throw some guys at it. What are they doing? What are you guys doing? What are you taking that? Oh, you're building stuff. Oh, so they'll just keep doing stuff. And I can go find more dudes. Come here. Help them build stuff. I gotta find more little guys. Okay, so they do little projects, and I just tell them what to do. Well, that makes sense. Hmm. Doesn't look like I can climb up that. Well, I need more of you guys. Bridge is almost built! How exciting. What is that? My cop pad! Thank goodness, I found it! I can use it to locate the SS Drake. Keep going, little dudes. We're almost there. Everybody's waiting on you, Kevin. We did it. We built this bridge. Oh, you guys built the bridge. I just blew the whistle. Come on. I might need another bridge. Come with me. Yaho! Oh, we have a map now. Great, it still works. Of course, I'd expect nothing less from copiate in engineering. Did I say that right? Maybe. I'll check my surroundings by scrolling through the coat pad. Uh, using the radar, I can check my surroundings. Yeah. Where's the Drake? Um, that signal. 
There it is. <laughs> the SS Drake. It's not that far from here. Cool. Maybe the other two crew members are there as well. I best head in that direction. Good thinking. Now we can start exploring with the help of the copad. Use the radar to check the map and the camera to take photos. We're gonna take pictures. Activate camera. And minus to shoot a photo. Okay. Is that red thing food? I ask myself all the time. Can I eat that? I'm gonna. Boom. Huh? We got whatever that is. We got one. What is this enormous thing? Drake must be somewhere on the other side of it. We gotta bust it down. What's happening? That thing is popping out some sort of sprouts. What is it? Is it making more little dudes? More Pikmin! Um, yes, pluck. Okay, so we collect the little flower things to make more little flower dudes. <laughs> ah, I see! So this is how these little creatures propagate. How incredibly fascinating. Press A to pluck nearby pigment sprouts and B to cancel. All right. Well, let's pluck them up. Speed plucking. Awesome. Well, now we need more of you guys. How many of you do we have? We have 10? Hmm. We need 20 to break that down, apparently. Whoa! What is it? Whoa! Get away from it! What are you? Bust them up, guys. Oh, a bunch of them. You can't mess with me and my squad of Pikmin. What is that? Is that a ghost? That was just weird. Oh, that's a big one. We need, we need more dudes. Come on, dudes. Wait, somebody take this back. How many of you do I have? Okay, we got five. Let's get this big thing. Boom! Take it back to the Pikmin multiplier. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> But it seems fun! We're gonna pluck up some new dudes! Alright, how many do we have now? We have 11? And then those five guys. So we're up to 16. But apparently they're gonna make more. I know I have to do something about the thing in the way. I'm doing something. Chill out. There we go. Plant more dudes. This is a weird game. I like it. Okay. How many do we have now? 21. Let's go bust this thing up. You don't stand a chance, Amazon box. All right. Ooh, look how coordinated they are. Powerful. Ooh, what's that? That's what I said, Alf. What's that? Looks like someone's left a data file here. 
Perhaps the copad will be able to read it. Perhaps. The onion is like a nest for the Pikmin. Okay. It both gives birth to them and provides them with shelter. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. The copad can read the data file. So these creatures are called Pikmin. This information might come in handy later on. I'll save it in the Copad's exploration notes. Ooh. Exploration notes. Cool. I don't think Captain Charlie wrote this data file. So who did? Could there be other intelligent life forms on this planet? Well, yeah, all these little Pikmin. All right, gather around, friends. We're gonna go over here. According to the radar, the drake should be just through here. Cool. Nobody left behind. Ooh, another one of those safe files. Change the radar's orientation in other settings in the option menu. No. <laughs> wow, those are massive. They don't look edible. How do you know? Did you try to eat one? Bust them out, Pikmin. Oh, man, they're going to town. Oh, there's a charge feature. Oh, they're on a rampage. Get back over here. Bust this thing up. Oh, cool. They're so destructive. Oh. The sand castle. Who built this wall here? More signs of intelligent life. Now would be a good time to press X to perform a charge. Yeah, we already figured that out. Thanks, Alf. We're way ahead of you. Charge! Oh, they're so focused and determined. I love it. What is the task at hand? Do that task, 100%. My crew could learn a lot from... Uh, I missed it. I would assume he was bragging about the same thing I was bragging about. Where are we now? The Drake! There it is! The SS Drake! Copad isn't picking up any signs of life in the immediate area. What am I supposed to do now? You wait. You get to the ship, and you wait. If everyone explores, looking for other people, you go around in circles. Get to the base, stay at the base. Oh, I'm about to miss a call. <laughs> Alf, it's me, Brittany. Do you copy? Thank goodness. You're with the SS Drake, right? I made it through the landing in one piece. The thing is, I'm trapped somewhere. Uh-oh. And I'm starved! Oh no, we got cut off. I wonder how far away Brittany is. But at the very least, I'm thankful that she appears to be safe and sound. But she's starved! <laughs> What's that strange sound? The sun is setting, which could mean that nocturnal predators are starting to wake up. Well, that's not good. I should probably get off the planet's surface for now. That does sound ominous. Oh, he beamed right in. Well, there you go. We abandoned our friend.
Wait. So we can take off and leave the atmosphere. Just like that. Super simple. Most of the supplies we brought with us from Kopai were destroyed in the crash landing. So we now only have three days worth of edible provisions left. We just ate a whole day worth. Starting tomorrow, I'll have to find some local food. That's day one. We survived a whole day. Review the replay with this button to fine tune your strategy. Uh, we're, we have no strategy. We're just going with the flow. All right. So, whoa, I see you, Al. We're, shri we're shipwrecked on this planet. Some, some creatures called Pikmin help me find the SS Drake, but our cosmic drive key is nowhere to be found. We won't be going anywhere without that. Luckily, I made contact with Brittany, and we will set out to find her tomorrow. When I took off in the ship, the Onion took flight as well. Odd, but amazing. Alf. Hmm. And there you go. So that's day one, apparently. Exploration day two. Garden of Hope. I've tracked down Brittany's signal. Right now, finding her is my highest priority. However, I'm also very concerned that our cosmic drive key is now missing. If I don't find that, the Drake won't be able to fly fast enough to get us back to Kopai. That would be very, very bad. All right. Well, so that's a brief introduction to Pikmin or Pikmin 3. Uh, like I said, I'm not familiar with the Pikmin games, so this is all new and exciting, but I do like the the controls of the game where you get to like assign them the little Pikmin. Here's a task. Now I got other stuff to do. Um, it's going to be an interesting strategy based thing. And from what I understand, the as the story unfolds, there's time constraints and different tasks you have to do and switching back and forth from Captain Charlie to Alf to Brittany. And you gotta kind of plan things and and plot out your resources. So I'm excited. It's it's a an interesting little puzzle game that seems fun. So if you enjoy this type of game, if you've played it before and you know a lot more than me, give me some advice in the comments because I'm not sure what's going on. But if you've never played it before, um, subscribe and come back on the next one. I'm going to play a few more days, see if it's something we really want to pursue for the channel. But thank you for checking out the first one with me. I had fun. I'm going to play another day and make sure you're subscribed so you come back for the next video. But until then, we'll see you next time. Later, guys.